Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? We are back. Um, so since I've been away, I've been doing loads of stuff. Um, Pablo is now back from Hong Kong, thankfully. I had a lot of life admin stuff to catch up with him. Um, I have been running, I've been working out, I've been doing all those things, but also I've been working really hard bringing out my Valentine's collection. So I just thought I'd run through how I go about bringing out these card collections. So back maybe in December, maybe earlier than that, straight after I did the Christmas cards, which was a set of 10 designs, I then got onto the Valentine's cards. Um, I always start off with my ideas in a sketchbook, like I'm really old school like that. I don't really know why I need to do it that way, but that's just the way my brain works best. I know that like my iPad is like a digital sketchbook, but just pencil and paper, proper old school is the way that I like to sketch things out. So sketched out a few ideas, the ones that I kind of thought were working, I then scan in, save as a photo, and no I don't, I scan in, I take into Photoshop, just play with the curves a little bit, um, darken the sort of lines, light in the background, then I put that into photos so it pings across to my iPad and then from there I bring it into Procreate and usually I draw around that and use that as a sort of base layer to my design. I know it seems like a really long-winded way of doing it, everyone does these things differently, that's the way that I work things, I'm no way like a Photoshop or Procreate or I mean anything pro, but that is the way that I do it. So then it's just the process of making it happen on Procreate. Procreate is my favourite drawing app, um, I've used a few now on the iPad but that's the one I get along with best. I love the fact you can design your own brushes and change your brushes around and um, I like the fact that it saves the little videos so you can see what I've been doing. I'll put a couple of those little videos in here so you can kind of see the process. This year I did do um, a lot of my designs completely from scratch but I was a little bit more sensible with the designing and took skulls from previous designs, cut them out and put them into new designs instead of drawing the skulls from scratch again because um, they actually take me a really really long time and I've got thousands of pictures of skulls so I thought I'd use some of my older ones and just place them in a different way. Um, same with the red and the black heart designs. I just changed the hearts and then sort of added different trimmings around them. So I'm getting a bit more streamlined my design process now. Um, last year to do my Christmas cards it took me like a really 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 long time. It was my first collection, I was super nervous about it and it just took me such a long time to kind of get in uh, the mindset of doing it, feel confident enough of doing it um, but now I'm really like getting into the swing of it and I actually really enjoy the designing process. Once I've finished drawing them all, I then print them out physically. Um, I just like to see on a physical piece of paper how they look, how they sit, if there's any um, sort of like scribbles on the screen that I might have missed out on. I feel like physical print and screen things can look really different. So I do that and if there's no problems, then I go ahead and put those into Photoshop do a final tidy up of everything, put them in the templates and send them to the printers. Um, and that should be the hard work done, but it's not. Um, these were all my misprints from printed.com. I've been having a few problems with them recently. Um, so I'm sitting hand cutting out my stickers. This is the second set they've sent me and I don't know if you can see. They're pretty off center. Um, so I think I'm gonna have to change printers soon, which is like super annoying because I really used to like love the quality and obviously like all my cards are kind of done the same and now I'm gonna have to like re-choose paper and blah, blah, blah. But anyway, they're done. But just things like, this is the third time now and I have a three strikes and you're out kind of policy with anything. But look how some of these turned out. Like you see all this white here. Um, I use printed.com, I have done for a while now, I've tried a few different printers, I really really like them, um, but now this is the third time I've had to get a reprint done on orders, their customer service team are really really great, but just when you're on quite tight deadlines, especially the deadline between Christmas and Valentine's Day is super tight, like it 
even a few days difference from when you think things will be delivered and dealing with complaints and all that sort of thing it added sort of five days into my processing time which to me is just not good enough so actually I do think I will be going for other printers which is a shame because I really love the quality at printer.com like when they get it right and as I say the customer service is great but I just don't have time for them to make mistakes at the moment so I'm gonna be looking at some other printers but anyway all going smoothly they should have arrived should have been good to go half of them were good to go and half of them weren't so I had to wait for the second um, print to come so they arrived again like maybe four or five days later than I had anticipated that meant I really had to amp things up with photographing them. That's the next stage in the process. What I do is I use this kind of half broken uh, ring light. Pablo had actually taken the lens that I wanted and the camera I wanted to Hong Kong with him. So I just used what I got around the house. Um, I used my kitchen floor, I have a black bit of cardboard. Um, I bought three pound bunch of flowers from Tesco. Like I don't have like a fancy setup um, for photographing my cards. Um, just can't really afford one. I very much use what I got kind of person. So I'm pretty happy with how they turned out though. I think they show the cards well. Um, the background's quite clean. I didn't get the focus quite where I wanted it. I really like that soft focus background but I didn't have the right lens for that. But that's just me being picky. I don't think anyone else would really notice that. So after I photograph them all, then they go up on my shop and also on Etsy. And then you have to schedule all the social media and the promotions and the Facebook marketing and all those sorts of things to go along with them. So people know that you've launched a collection because there's no point drawing pictures, putting them up and not telling anyone about them. Like how your customer is going to know if you don't tell them. So um, yeah, that is the next stage in it. And now we're at the stage where we're just like letting it roll. We're seeing what's working, seeing what's not working. Uh, sending out a little cheeky discount to uh, my email subscribers this week as well. I've set up MailChimp um, to help me with abandoned carts. So a lot of people add things to their cart and they might see the shipping or they change their mind last minute. I do it all the time. Um, so a little email is going out to them just to remind them that stuff's in their car, all that sort of thing. So it's much more than like drawing a picture, printing it off. Um, I also get all my packaging separate from my cards. I get them from EcoCraft. I get recycled envelopes and biodegradable cellos. So I had to put an order in for those as well. So logistically there's just like a few bits I have to make sure all come at the same time so everything can get up and going. Um, so that is the latest collection. I'm really happy with it. I'm really happy it seems to be selling pretty well so far. If I sell um, over 100 cards, I am going to get myself a cry cut. Is it cry cut or circuit or cricket? Everyone says it differently. The machine that you can do stickers with, basically. I'm gonna get one of those so I can up my packaging game and I can sell sticker sheets. But each thing I do depends on how each collection sells. So fingers crossed this one sells well. Um, up next, I'm starting to do maybe more like thank you cards, um, like get well soon, those sorts of cards um, to do me sort of in between the next season. Also, I think these ones will be really, really good for wedding cards. I'm gonna do maybe some more wedding cards. So yeah, I'm just really thinking about the next steps. I'm also concentrating on prints. So I'm trying to bring out a print every few weeks. I've got wrapping paper coming up. Everything is getting super amped up and I'm really excited for it. Um, but yeah, that is the Valentine's collection. I never thought I'd be the most excited about Valentine's cards because I I'm not a Valentine's Day person at all and honestly mainly it was because there was like never a card that I liked it was always like too mushy and I, I just it's just not me which is I think maybe why I've enjoyed this collection so much is because I've like created something that I would really like to receive so I think that's basically it for today guys basically just how I go from my sketchbook to getting my cards into store for you guys and just share my new collection with you because I am excited about it. Um, Pablo is back now so I have all my equipment again um, so hopefully we'll do some fun filming this week and I will have a new and exciting video for you next week. Let me know if you like this sort of video, um, I can do more on the sort of process of what I do or 
I don't know, anything that you guys want to see, like, let me know, um, and I will do my best to make it for you. But thank you guys, as always, for watching, even though I'm super disorganised and I miss a week sometimes, but thank you for sticking around. Um, if you are not subscribed already, please subscribe, we're so close to 1,000 subscribers. Um, yeah, thank you, love you guys, and peace out.